You know what? I got a little bone to pick with you guys. Because I feel some type of way. You didn't tell me about the arcade update. Shame on y'all. Bolo! All right, yeah, I'm a little in my feelings. You guys could have told me about how good this update was, but it's all cool. I found out through the grapevine. <laughs> but yeah, I'm actually very excited about two things. That is the note kits and the new appreciators that are in here. And uh, yeah, it is actually very, very, very dope. So if you do not have Arcade, you need to go ahead and get it. It's only 10 bucks a month. I will have a link in the description so you guys can go ahead and click on that and get Arcade if you do not have it. If you do have it, I got a bone to pick with you guys. Y'all been holding out. But let's go ahead and get to it. And uh, I might make a quick beat using Arcade today. Yeah. All right, so we are now using the machine software and I'm gonna be using it with my machine MK3. And I've had it for a couple weeks now. This is late May 2022, and I'm still learning it. So I decided to test myself and make a beat with it today using the arcade sounds. If you're not familiar with arcade, it's basically a big sampler, rompler, whatever you want to call it. But the main thing about it is it has a plethora of sounds and a plethora of loops that you guys can use. And I'm going to keep saying is it is the ultimate cheat code. Yes, there's been so many major songs made off of Arcade, it is ridiculous. And plus, Output makes some of the best sounds in the market. I spent my own money with Output, and they have been nothing but incredible to me with my sound selection and just being able to just find sounds that a lot of people don't have out here. But Arcade is a little bit different because it takes just about everything that Output has done and has wrapped it into one VST instrument. Now, the main thing that you're going to need to use Arcade is internet you're gonna have to have internet that's the way you download the sounds and everything if you don't have internet you're screwed all right so let's go ahead and go over what i really like about this plugin of course you know if you come on here you got the home screen you got the search you got your lines and you got your stuff where you can save all your stuff whatever but what i want to do is instead of just going to the home screen let's go ahead right here and let's go to search and as you guys can see i've already been dabbling in this this is the note kits. This is what I am very excited about because now you can play individual sounds across your keys, not using the samples or whatever, but now you just have a plethora of sounds to pick from and then you can mix and match the sounds and create your own sounds. So if you're into sound design, this thing is incredible. So let's go ahead and let me show you guys how this thing works if you're not familiar with it because some of you guys have already been using it and I still feel kind of slighted about that. All right, so let's just go pick anything right now. Let's, uh, let's, let's just pick the carousel of windmills. Let's see what this is about. So let's go ahead and just download this. And yes, you need internet to download this. So it's gonna download, takes a couple seconds and bam, it's done. So let's go ahead and play the kit. And as you can see, it is toys. So let's play it, let's see what we got. Oh, that's kind of dope. Actually, very, very, very dope. And as you can see, you can play it across the keys on your keyboard. Dope. Now, if you want to go ahead and do some extra stuff to it, like if you want to add some space to it, we can turn that up. Gives it more reverb and stuff. If you want to put some vibrato on there, or vibrato, however you want to say it. Turn it up. Kind of dope, kind of dope. Turn that down a little bit. Turn this down a little bit. We can add some movement to it, so we can turn up the movement. And you can hear that movement going from left to right in the speakers. Kind of dope. And then we have an attack. So it has like a longer attack so the note will kind of just gradually get to the top. Or if you want a shorter attack. Dope. Dope. I actually like that. Some of you guys might say, that's dope, Bolo, but what else? I'm going to show you. Okay, now what we can do is hit this button right here. It's called Tweak. All right, so now we're inside of here and we can actually go ahead and change all of these individual layers 
and make this sound however we want to make it with the samples that are included with this particular pack. So we can go in here and let's say, for instance, I want to change this sound right here, this bouillant bottle blown. I can change that to bright koala non vibrato. Let's see how it sounds. Okay, cool. So let's just say we want to change it to a different sound. We can change it to this. And let's see how it sounds. And you can't really hear it because it's kind of turned down a little bit, but let's go ahead and go to the mixer. So we can actually go to the mixer and that's layer B, correct? So we can go ahead and turn this up and turn this layer down. And now we just made our own sound, our own sound on here just by turning some things up and down and changing the actual sound. So if we want to go back into here, the layer edit, and say, for instance, we want to change this sound. We want to change this to something different. Uh, this is the bottle blown. Let's see. Now let's go ahead and go back to the mixer and let's turn this up just a little bit. Turn this down. Now we can create our own sounds just manipulating the layers. And now if you want to add some modulation, we can add modulation to it if we want to. As you guys can see, this modulation stuff is over here moving around. We can add different macros and stuff like that to it. And we have an appreciator inside of each one of these different modules. So we can go ahead and use the appreciators that comes with it. So if I want to go ahead and turn this thing on, I can put on a basic appreciator on here, and once I play it, and I can play different notes, and then we can change this up. We can go from basic to complex. Let's do like a complex one, see what happens. Come on now, come on now, that's dope. And you can do that for all of the different note kits. And as you can see, you got several note kits. You got 941 note kits as of May of 2022, late May of 2022. And it goes from new to old. And it's just a whole plethora of note kits. And they actually have a new note kit that I'm really kind of interested in. And that is the ARC note kit. And this right here is actually pretty cool. So let's go ahead and download this one as well. So let's just uh, just download this and see what is going on with this ARPS note kit. And let's see how this thing sounds. So it's gonna download just like the last one and then we can play the kit and let's see how it sounds. Okay, see what they got? Oh, that's dope. So as you can see, it's still a note kit, but it is already appreciated for you. So it's basically a whole appreciated kit that's already set up with sounds and everything in it. So unlike the last kit where we had to add appreciation to it, we can just go ahead and open this up and it already has it. And we can still go through and tweak the sounds. So as you can see, it has a few sounds in here and we're gonna go ahead and change, change this one right here and see how it sounds. Change this one. Okay, and I'm gonna change this one. Okay, and then we're gonna go through and we're gonna change some of the sounds in here. Okay. And as you also can see, it has sins on here and you have a whole master track on here as well. So this is a very intricate plug-in. I'm telling you guys right now. And you have the different appreciator stuff and it's already set up for you guys. So if you want to play certain things, <laughs> just like that, $10 a month, $10 a month. You better go ahead and click that link in the description. Okay, so that's a brief overview of the note kits and the new appreciator plugin that's inside of Arcade. And uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make a beat today. 
But um, I'm making it on my machine, MK3. I'm still kind of getting used to it, so it might take a little while. So I might just do a beat breakdown instead. But I'm going to use all sounds from Arcade. So uh, yeah, let me go ahead and do that, and uh, I'll be right back. All right, first thing I used was Drip. I used a few sounds in here, mashed them all together. This is how they sound. All right, another sound that I use is in drip as well, but it's just a single sound, and I use this in the pre-hooks and in the tail end of the chorus. So let me play that. All right, so the third sound that I use is the arps, and I use the abandoned vessel, and this is how it sounded. Yeah, it's kind of weird hearing them one by one, but I promise you, it's all gonna tie in to make a decent beat. All right, so I found another sound in vocal. I found this vocal sound. This is how it sounds. All right, so those are all the sounds that I use. I went ahead and added some drums to it and just did a quick little mix on it. And uh, this is how the beat turned out. All right, so there it is. Output has done it again with this new arcade update. I'm a little late, but I'm glad I got to it. And uh, you guys should go ahead and get to it as well if you don't have it. So go ahead and click that link in the video description to go ahead and get it. It's nothing but $10 a month. And you get all of these sounds and you know how many hits have been made using arcade. So I hope this video was informative. I hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, Peace out.